Purdue might have lost their towering star, Zach Eady, but did they actually improve as a team? In this video, we'll explore how strategic adjustments and emerging talent have made Purdue a potentially more dynamic squad. Stick around to see why losing a key player doesn't always mean losing momentum and how Purdue's new approach might just surprise us this season. So the first thing to establish is who's going to replace Zach Eady's role, and that's going to be Kaufman Wren. And so I don't think Kaufman Wren's going to be quite as efficient as Zach Eady was. However, I do think he's going to possess the ability to maintain loose efficiency with them not using him quite as frequently as they use Zach Eady. And so the first thought is that that would be an issue for Purdue, but the reason I don't think that's going to be an issue for Purdue is because of the players surrounding the inside post of Purdue. And the most part of those are going to revolve around two players, and then I'm going to add one third one for this year as well. Lawyer, Smith, and I think Cox might also fit in that role as well this year. These players represent a different type of shooter. To signify this transition, the first thing I want to discuss this year, through four games, they're shooting almost 40% from behind the arc compared to the 35% that they shot last year. And because they're shooting it so efficiently currently, I think there's a real chance that this number goes way up from the current 30, 39.4% that it is currently. I think there's a chance it goes way higher because they have so many versatile shooters on the outside. So before we talk about Smith, Lawyer, and Cox, I think it's important to address the players they lost. So the players they largely lost that got a lot of minutes that shot were Jones and Gillis. Both Jones and Gillis shot the ball fairly efficiently, but the types of threes that they shot were kickout threes. While kickout threes undoubtedly have a role in today's game for sure, they put a lot less strain on the defense because it requires help that all have already occurred. So if we're just looking at this simple example, the only reason this three exists is because they're worried about Kaufman right on the inside. So Kaufman right has to create the help and then you get the three. Now if you compare that to the three players I mentioned, Lawyer, Smith, and Cox, they have much more of an ability to shoot the ball while on the move. The first player of these that I've been showing clips of is Fletcher Lawyer. We saw at the end of halftime he made several keep shots. We saw that they ran stagger screens for him specifically. Him being able to catch the ball on the move with defenders closing out and shoot it at a ridiculous rate right now gives so many opportunities for Purdue's offense. And maybe the most obvious candidate of this is simply Braden Smith because he has the ball so often the offense runs through him and he shoots the ball very well and they run action for him with little ball screens up the top constantly and he can punish you if there's a lapse in the defense whatsoever. And then the third men third member I mentioned is the CJ Cox and he frankly he hasn't played that much this year and uh, he uh, I mean essentially won them this game versus Alabama. He had a streak of three plays in a row that really just bust the game wide open that Alabama was not able to recover from. And if he possesses this ability, and so far it looks like he does, to shoot the ball on the move as well, where they're setting ball screens or he's able to punish the defense by them making some lackluster mistake, like sagging off right here, that opens up even more op options for Purdue as well. And so because Purdue has more versatile shooters this year that can shoot the ball on the move, I think it puts way more strain on the defense. And it's a big reason that we're seeing this early season success from Purdue. And that I expect it to continue because uh, their shooters are elite. And I think they're going to run through them and use Kaufman Wren to balance it out. And so I'm optimistic about Purdue for the rest of the year.